Okay, this is the new DirecTV interface. Um, just came out today. I have a few problems with it. I want to share. Some things are nice. Some things I think they really missed the mark on. This I like. That faded lower section. Um, that's nice and updated. But let me show you what really bothers me. When I go to list, um, I've got this big box here, which is okay, I suppose. Um, but what I really don't like is that when I press the uh, left of zero button, which used to be my options, it used to give me an option to select programs to delete where I could get an entire list of my programs and select which ones I want to delete and delete them with a single press of a button. That feature is now gone and when you press that button it sends you to search which is really annoying because to me being able to select those programs to delete and delete them all at once in one big group was the most convenient feature of DirecTV. Okay, so I don't even know how to get out of this. Try to exit. Okay, so here's my second one. Um, Let's see this. We're going to KGF. So uh, I I pressed the right of it, the right of zero, the enter button, and I get a single line, uh, which I like. Now I highlight the channel, hit select, and I'm waiting and waiting and waiting, and finally it comes up. But I only have four items on this screen and I have this huge upper section here this huge section up here that's nothing but a channel logo I, I could fit you could fit five more items in there this is ridiculous they haven't improved it they've reduced it I have less information on this screen than I used to why I, why are we giving almost a third of the screen real estate to a channel logo? I, I just don't understand this. I don't understand this at all. That, that's a total failure. You've got all this room to list programs and I've only got four. You know, and this thing's confusing. I don't like it at all. There's, there's no need for that. This information on the top worked just fine in the last edition of this user interface. Yes, it looks pretty. It's got nice shading. It's updated. They didn't need to change the way it worked. If they wanted to improve it, they should have just updated the look. They screwed it up, in my opinion. I don't like this. These are the two features I use most, and now I'm limited to four items per page, which is utterly ridiculous, in my opinion. Okay, uh, there is one thing that I do like. Let me, let me play here. That's nice. Shaded instead of the big blue block. I like that. Um, here is one thing they did improve on. Your 30 second advance now shows you collectively if you have if you're if you're anticipating a three minute commercial break. Let's see, let's find a commercial break up here. Okay, here we go. Let's see what this is. I'm gonna say this is gonna be a three minute commercial break. Now I'm gonna hit my 30 second advance and it's gonna collectively show me how much time I'm advancing. And that I that I like. You when you get good with your programs, you know how long their commercial breaks are, and you can skip the commercials to the second, which is very convenient. Okay. 
that's all I have for this. This is a uh, red zone replay I'm watching from week one of the 2017 season. Um, covered under fair use agreement. So I don't expect any copyright violations here. Uh, tell me what you think in the comments. Let me know if you agree or disagree or whether or not you like the new DirecTV interface. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.